Okay, uh, let's look at uh, section 5.5. This section talks about disproving existential statements, right? So let's say we want to dispro disprove there exists some x in a set S such that P of x, right? So, but uh, we've been proving something, so uh, let's try to rewrite it in terms of proving some statement. So this is equivalent to uh, proving right its negation. So it's a not there exists x in S such that uh, p of x is true, right? Which is logically equivalent to all right, so negation, we learn how to negate existential statements. So this is a equivalent, logically equivalent to for all x in S, right, not P of x is true, All right? So let's try to do that, All right? Let's look at this example. Let's say we want to disprove there exists an odd integer a and B such that 4 divides 3a squared plus 7b squared All right so let's look at that all right so first uh, let's see we say we want to prove so let's say we want to prove this statement all right so this is going to be a for all so for all odd integers a and B, right? We want to show that four never divides three A squared plus seven B squared, right? So this is what we want to show, right? So right, right, let's write the proof. So here's the proof, all right? So first line, right? All right, so we're going to say let uh, A and B be any uh, odd integers. So, um, so let uh, uh, A and B, maybe A and B, B, any odd integers. Right, so that will be our given. Right, so which means that uh, by definition, uh, we know that um, there exists some integers uh, k and l, right, such that, right, we can write. Uh, a as uh, 2k plus 1, right? Also uh, b as 2l plus 1, right? So this is just using the definition of odd integers, right? Then uh, 3, then we can consider uh, 3a squared plus 7b squared. So let's look at that. So 3a squared plus 7b squared is going to be equal to, all right, just plug in, all right, 3 times quantity 2k plus 1 squared plus 7 times uh, 2l plus 1 squared, right? So this is going to be equal to, uh, maybe go down here, right? This is 3 times, right? That's going to be 4k squared plus 4k plus 1, right? Plus 7 times 
right? 4L squared plus 4L plus 1, right? Then uh, you can see that uh, this is going to be equal to, right? So uh, since we're looking at the divisibility by 4, so uh, we already see 4, so maybe we'll uh, pull 4 out uh, from here, right? Then 3 times 4k squared, so 3 is going to be left over. And the k squared is going to be left over. So I took care of this guy right here with this 3. Right, so pull out 4, so you have 3k left. So you have uh, 3k right here. Right, so that, that will take care of this guy. All right, and I'm going to do 3 times 1, 3. I'll take care of that later. Right, so you have 4 here, so I'm going to pull 4 out, and you have a 7L squared left. So that will take care of this, this guy with the 7. And if 4 pulled out, then you're going to have 7Ls. Oops, sorry, 7L. 7, 7L. Right, that will take care of that. Right. Then also you have, uh, so 3 and the 7 left over, so that will be 10. So uh, instead of, uh, let's say, pull out 4, so there are 2 of them in 10. But the 4 times 2 is only 8, so you have 2 extra. So uh, you have uh, uh, 2 more, so I'm going to just put plus 2 there, All right? So uh, you can uh, so that will take care of three and seven, which is ten. So ten is four times four times two plus two. All right. Then the next line. So line number four. All right. This tells you that three uh, a squared plus seven b squared is four times some integer. Then you have two left over. So if he, if it's divided by four it's going to have a remainder 2, which tells you that it's not divisible by 4, right? So therefore, we know that uh, 4 does not divide, uh, does not divide 3a squared plus 7b squared, right? So that comes from uh, line number 3, right? That's the end of the proof. Uh, we could show that uh, for any uh, odd integers, a and b, we could show that uh, 4 never divides 3a squared plus 7b squared because of this remainder 2. Right? That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.